The man was given headship over the household. The woman is given a secondary position as a co-equal to the one. In other words, even though she's not the authoritative figure, she is a part of the authoritative figure, which means that their creation of one comes with one voice. When he speaks, she speaks. The problem is that when she comes outside of her position or her authority to supersede his authority. <laughs> so what happened is that in the Garden of Eden, there was a conversation between Eve and the serpent. Now, Adam had instructed Eve to stay away from the tree of knowledge and good and evil because God instructed Adam. He instructed Eve. Eve found herself in front of the tree. The serpent didn't have to find Eve because Eve was already curious. The problem is that Adam is also nearby. Right? Eve disregards God's word that came from man. Entertain the serpent. End up being fooled or tricked by the serpent. After she was tricked by the serpent, she gave to man to eat. Man foolishly rejected God's word and followed her word. Headship is not always getting what you want or bowing down to make everything smooth so that we can go along to get along. And when we don't stand up as men, when we don't have the authority or the headship in our homes, we are saying it's okay to talk to the serpent. Because if you look at that text and you break it down, had Adam, which is the man who was given the instructions, saw his wife by the tree, first of all, he should have said, baby, that's not where we belong. And what she should have said, understanding that the co-equalness or under the authority of man, if he says move, we need to move. But with this American thought process now, because we all so grown, we, I can do whatever a man can do. I don't need a man. I don't do, I, I, I wish I would serve. I wish I would do these things. What you are saying is that God's word is not valid in your life. And so you want to take control and position even though your man is trying to lead you. The problem with a man trying to lead you who does not follow God is he has no consistency. Adam could have spared all of us. All of us. Had he taken her away from the situation and put the serpent in his place. Instead, he allowed her to override God for whatever reason. She must have been fine. Because he had access to the entire globe. Anything he wanted, they could have. He only had one assignment to stay away from one tree. And when his wife put the fruit to him, he also bit of it versus covering her sin. Had he just been a man, had he just understood his authority, had he just done the simple thing of saying no, we wouldn't be where we are right now.